I took up martial arts for all the wrong reasons, and I'll, I'll make that very clear. I took up martial arts because I was being bullied. I was being bullied at school, and I'd had enough. And you know when parents tell you, stand up to the bullies? They don't have to do it. I stood up to the bullies, and I got a good hiding for it. So I suddenly realised that if I was going to stand up to the bullies, I had to have some form of um, something that gave me confidence, and martial arts was that tool. As I said before, I started off as a very shy, quiet, um, unfit, um, no confidence individual at school, and I wouldn't say boo to a goose. Now I'll stand up in front of, as I did at the, the, um, look at the demonstrations we did at the NEC or around the world, I'll stand up in front of 10,000 people and, and strut my stuff on stage quite happily. I'll stand up, uh, I'll just come back from Milan having taught 1,000 students in a sports centre who I didn't know, and I'll still happily stand up there. So I think confidence is one of the things I've gained. and good Wing Chun. Um, there is a such thing as uh, bad Wing Chun. Bad Wing Chun is not necessarily the martial art as a style. It's often, again, it's the way that it's taught. It's the people that spoil martial arts, not the martial art itself. Um, there is, however, an element of within every martial art where there are people who are not fully qualified out there teaching. Now, that is a bad martial art because it is not a complete system. It cannot be fully understood. You cannot appreciate any martial art system until you've trained all the way through. Not only have you learned the martial art movements, but you've also then gained an appreciation of how to teach that martial art movement back. Because training a martial art and, and learning how to teach are two completely separate entities. In 1982, he opened his first Wing Chun class in the Hall Green area of Birmingham, where he still teaches today. And from there, his Midlands Wing Chun Kun school has grown into a large family-like association representing Grandmaster Yip Chun nationwide. Um, martial, uh, martial arts and the bodyguarding world are two very, very separate entities. Uh, martial arts is about looking after yourself, self-protection, or those close to you. Bodyguarding is somewhat about sacrificing yourself to protect another person. Um, and the physical training that we do is very, very different. There are areas where they link. I mean, obviously, reaction, speed, awareness, fitness, all those things go together. Sifu Rawcliffe has chosen not to earn a living as a Wing Chun instructor, preferring instead to teach without personal financial gain, believing in and concentrating on the quality rather than the quantity of his students. It was Master Yip Chun's wish that the essence of Wing Chun Kun, as taught by his father, be maintained and taught correctly so that his father's understanding and knowledge be preserved. Be honest, be open. And that's what I want to do. I want to continue encouraging my students to be honest about their background. You know, if they train with other teachers before me, be proud of that. It's what helps them appreciate what I offer. If they get to good enough that they can go to Hong Kong and train my teacher, if that opportunity becomes available to them, then be proud of the fact that I've helped them get there. I've had students who've trained with me for four or five years that have suddenly left and gone off and started their own martial arts school doing their own little system. They don't need to badmouth me. If I help them so far before they went sideways onto their own route, I'm proud to have helped them. There is a, a prevailing um, atmosphere in the martial arts as if whoever I'm training with is the best thing since sliced bread, anybody before that was no good. But I know the people that I trained with helped me get to where I am today. They helped me appreciate what I've learned today. They all added to the benefits that I've gained from martial arts. So I want to put across an atmosphere of honesty. I want to put an atmosphere of friendliness. We talk about in martial arts, um, Wing Chun is a family. It is the most... Um, dissected and, and split apart family at this moment in time you've ever known. Within my own group, yes, it is very much a family atmosphere. I want to enhance that to my Kung Fu Brothers groups. And so we, we get a feeling of family, of unity. We're not all going to agree all the time, but we should be working together to promote what I think is a wonderful style.